The mystery wheel is often a subject of debate. Some believe it's generous, while others think it's designed to strip away your gems until you win a specific object. Let's take a chance and find out which theory is more plausible, whether the mystery wheel is good for free-to-play players, or just another gem-guzzling machine. We will use two accounts, both with ample clock turn keys. The plan is to halt spinning once we acquire the first prize on each account, and then assess the luck chances to compare between the two. Let's accelerate the process to find out what's waiting for us. Wow, we got the outfit. Even though it's not what I preferred, we managed to get the most rare prize from the wheel in just 19 turns. At least the girls should be pleased with their new hairstyles. Now, let's move on to the other account and give the wheel a spin. All right, let's push things along and accelerate the process. For this second attempt, we won the wand, but it took a total of 26 spins. In summary, there appears to be an approximately equal chance to win any item from the wheel. Should free-to-play players take advantage of this event? Of course, they should take advantage of this event. Cautious players who focus on conserving their clock turn keys might want to consider picking up at least one prize in this event, while hoarding around 100 keys for something they really want to own in the future. Also, during each Mystery Wheel event, you have the option to buy Clock Turn Key Packs using gems. This isn't my first time getting an outfit as a first prize, and I must admit that this event appears to be one of the friendliest ones out there compared to any other options I've encountered in the game so far. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. Uhtred, I've brought some more chocolates for you. Are you guys playing some kind of joke on me or what? Uhtred, let me show you what I've brought for you. Really, Ivy? More chocolates? Hehehe. <laughs>